I love the face. I love the eyes. The lips. I love and I'm living for it. Hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. That was so... Oh, anyways. If you're new, welcome. Um, I'm Marlin. And I like to make YouTube videos, but I'm not consistent. I was going to say... I was going to come on here and be like... Don't y'all think that me wearing no gloss, because matte, well, it's not matte, it's like a buttery gloss, not a buttery gloss, a buttery lipstick, so it's not matte, but there's no lip gloss, no lip gloss, and I was going to be like, aren't you shook by that, but I don't post enough for you to know that I'm a gloss girl, it's always yes to gloss, but for some reason, I wasn't fitting gloss with this look at all at all i want it to be very calm collected it could be bold at the end i do show you different lip colors so stay tuned to try out different colors with this different lip colors with this eye look that was again a mouthful i can't talk um i'm i am about to go into um i really can't talk what am i saying i'm about to go into a voiceover and I'm glad I did because yeah this video was more so for myself I just wanted to listen to music and do my makeup and I was like why not record it just do a voiceover um and I'm glad because I could take I wanted to take my time and just sit down and listen to music and do my makeup but um I still took less time than I would have took if I would have been talking the whole time and that's because I talk a lot like I feel like I don't talk too much me as a person but whenever i'm recording for some reason i talk too much to where it's like girl let me cut this out or why did i even say that unnecessary comments and i get sidetracked i don't know i'm all over the place with my makeup i'm all over the place with what i'm talking about so i was like i just want to sit down um have a mental day because this is a way of therapy like I know it probably sounds either cliche or dumb depending on you but I'm so for real I used to sit at home whenever I didn't have anything to do or whatever and do my makeup all the time but then you know with time I kind of stopped doing my makeup um often like I might only do it if I'm going out or even then I might not do my makeup or like something special I'll do my makeup um but I'm usually always in a rush so I never sit down peacefully and actually enjoy doing my makeup or to even nonetheless record myself doing makeup so I was like today is a day that I have time that I have a mental state of no social vibes no nothing i don't want to see nobody i don't want to talk to nobody i don't want to do nothing blah, blah, blah. so i was like let me sit down and do my makeup and it will be a relaxing day for myself anyways like i said it's about to be a voiceover i love you to death if you're new subscribe but yeah keep watching don't skip watch to the end be real um and see you next time all right boom here we go um, before I do get started with the voiceover, this is a couple days later. I'm a little sick, so if I sound funny, that's why. Um, and then also, this is fast-forwarded. This whole makeup is fast-forwarded, but I just feel like it will be way too long for me to do a voiceover and where I'm not talking and it's that long. So fast-forwarded, but boom, you see me put on primer. I use the Milk Makeup Hydro Primer, and then here I am using a beauty blender to put on foundation. I'm using the IT CC Cream um no the it cosmetics cc cream with spf 50 in the shade light medium uh my go-to and then here you see me putting on just some lip gloss um some lip balm so that you can see my lips a little bit because foundation is on them and then notice i didn't put on powder yet i'm going in for my eyebrows so i went foundation and then now i am going in with this eyebrow pencil by morphe and I am filling my eyebrows in. I don't do too much to my eyebrows. Um, I just brush them up, put them in place, and then I fill in the gaps where my eyebrows are kind of missing hair or volume and fill those areas in and I try to match them as much as I can because it does, does become complicated. One eyebrow has like a longer um, 
tail and the other one has like a higher arch like naturally so whenever I'm filling them in I just try to match that um but it's really not that much um, I don't know if that makes sense but yeah I did the other um, eyebrow kind of off camera mainly just so that you know time purposes so boom here's both of them basically done and ready to go and then here I realized I hadn't washed my brushes and I had done a purple look and a really dark look before this but luckily I've had enough clean brushes so I can complete this look so you see me use this brush and this palette is all by Morphe and these are the two colors I'm combining you just whatever two colors you have that look like this you can throw them on and here I am zooming in so they can see me a little bit better um should have done that a long time ago but anyways um yeah so here I am doing a wing this is kind of a pencil like brush and I am trying to do a wing shape and I'm focusing mainly on the outer corners to get the wing to be at an angle that I like it at um and again I still haven't put on powder on my face so everything is still wet and I'm able to maneuver everything with my fingers as you see me doing right now like I'm able to take off erase this is basically me erasing and I'm able to blend and move everything around how I want it to so it's very precise everything's still wet um I don't know if that's also making sense I hope everything I'm saying is making sense because it's going pretty fast um so this is the other brush I use honestly I can't see the numbers just pause it if you really want this specific brush but it's another Morphe brush and this is like a liner brush and I'm going in with black and now I'm going to follow that template I made earlier with the brown and the pencil brush and now I'm going to make basically a winged liner but I'm using eyeshadow um and yeah as you've seen it was a black just any black eyeshadow the same thing and yeah so you'll just see me try to build this wing up and I kind of go back and forth I'm not gonna lie I go one side and the other um but I didn't add all the clips for that I'm not gonna lie but um, yeah, it's just getting both sides to be the same. The copy and paste is really hard with the wing, at least for me. Um, so you see me look a lot and just go slow. I know the video is going really fast, but go slow. Take your time. And then once you get it to semi how you like it, you're good. Um, they're never going to be perfect. And then boom, here goes a also semi clean brush because this is actually a concealer. Um brush but I'm picking up just a white base any white base will do I'm using the same Morphe palette so any white eyeshadow will do and yeah just add it to the front side of or what is it like your inner corner in the middle of your eye basically um but not too high in your eye don't go in your crease is what I'm trying to say um but even if you do get a little bit on your crease it's okay because you want to go back and forth even if you feel like you didn't you still want to go back and forth with the crease color um, and brush and the base color and brush you just want to go back and forth and make sure everything is properly blended um, and then you also see me go back with the liner brush and some more black to not just retouch the wing but also add a front wing um, so like in my inner duct area I am going to add a a wing going how do I explain this? It's better for you to see it than for me to explain it because I really don't know the proper term. But I'm going up and also going down to make the liner go at an angle or make my eye go at an angle due to the liner. I don't know if that's making sense. But hopefully you watching is helping it make sense because, yeah, how to explain. And then now I'm going in with concealer. This is the NARS concealer and I'm going in with two shades. Um, the first shade I go in with is Matte Line, and I use this basically all over my face, under my eyes, on the sides of my nose, along my mouth, my forehead, my chin. You see me go back and do my chin. And then I go in with the shade Vanilla as well, and I do that on my cupid's bow. Um, and then also a little bit to my forehead, my chin, and my under eyes. But that one is just a little bit more lighter. Like if I don't do foundation, then I only use um, Matte Line. But whenever I do use foundation, I do mix in vanilla just so it can be a little bit more brighter. I don't know why I'm into the bright under eye. I used to not even like concealer, but now I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Um, but yeah, I just use a beauty blender for this part. Um, you can use the brush if you want to. That's just personal preference. But here I'm just showing you that I am trying to clean up the liner as much as I can using the beauty blender and the concealer to clean it up. 
that way it is sharp and then boom here I am now I'm using powder this is the first time I use powder and I'm going in with a one size puff and their translucent powder to go under my eyes I go over it again with a beauty blender make sure everything's um, soft and clean and no lines wrinkles whatever um, you want to call them and then go in with a powder on both sides and then because of the powder I am going back to touch up the liner with the pencil brush and some more black shadow just so that I can re-darken it and bring it back to life and then going in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Cream Contour in the shade Light Medium um, and I'm just putting this everywhere that I contour so my jawline, my cheekbones, my forehead the only place I don't add this to that I do also contour is my nose um, I only use powder contour for my nose because I don't want it to get out of control <laughs> Alright, so shortly after that slight behind the scenes, um, my camera died, and so I decided to finish off my face makeup off camera, just because I feel like I have a couple videos already on here that you can watch if you really uh, want to see how I do my face. I feel like I do my face pretty much the same still. So, um, yeah, I just decided to come back now that I'm focusing on the eyes again, and I'm going in again with that pencil brush, same brown shade, and I'm going under my waterline, um, and I know I'm all over the place, but now I'm going back on top on my lid, and I'm grabbing a white shimmer shade from the same Morphe palette, which is 35D, by the way, it's called Dessert Bouquet. Um, it has a lot of shades in there that you can use for a bunch of different looks, so I love it. I use it a lot. And then, boom, again, because of the shimmer shade, you want to go in again during the crease. You want everything to be blended together, and you, again, want to darken that black liner again. You don't want anything to fade off um, since, we're, since we went back on top with a very light shade. You want to bring everything back to life by blending stuff together. And then here I'm using a NYX brown liner pencil, making sure it's nice and sharpened. Um, I hate the pencils that looks like this, but um, this one's actually pretty creamy. Um, but it doesn't stay on that long. My eyes are very watery. I'm not going to lie to you. But it is a really good pencil. It is NYX. So um, very affordable and it does the job. And so boom. So I'm just lining my waterline and then I'm going to go back in with that um, pencil brush to blend it with the brown eyeshadow I don't, I'm all over the place the brown shadow that's on the brush and that brown liner you want them to blend together um, all over the waterline and you can add as much or as little as you want I'm not dragging it down as much but here I'm giving you kind of a comparison to see that for you to see that it is um, adding some dimension and then I'm gonna do my um, lashes off camera but um, I did add this clip so that you can see that I did add mascara to my lower lash mascara what is going on anyways I did add mascara to my lower lashes just to add dimension to those as well since I did add color to okay this must have been my song so now I guess I'll talk for a little bit I feel like this eye can go with a nude a maroon very fall lip dark lip um or a good red and then i got to thinking about it i don't have any red lipsticks right now i don't think um i have two nicks one is a gloss one is matte but they're like you know these fall colors i don't think i have a red like a good red okay this is kind of pink and this is kind of like a ugly pink um and then of course i have all the nudes in the world i really wanted to try a red look with this i mean a red lip oh this is a cute pink i don't know if you can see on camera on camera looks like a funny pink but that was a really cute pink um oh this is giving fall this chocolate this is super old it looks funny um i still have some left so i'm gonna use it i don't care um this is okay i might oh i might just try it on just so you can see the look i'm excited for the brown here we go oh the sun the sun is in the way oh my god how creamy 
this lipstick is that just goes to show quality over quantity this is by urban decay creamy i was just complaining about my lips being dry and how the sun i understand you're shining on me all the time but i'm trying to show people this lipstick like how do i block the sun this one is eating okay i still love this lipstick it was one year in specific i tore this lipstick up during the fall tore it up tore it up because it's just that Ugh, the sun is not let me close my blinds this gives fall this gives halloween this gives grudge <gasps> That's the word. Whenever everybody was using the word grudge back in the day for makeup. That's when I had this lipstick on. This lipstick is so good. I am in love. This is, by the way, Comfort Matte by Urban Decay. Like I said, I went ham a couple years ago with this. So I've had this for a while, years and years ago. If they sell it, they sell it. If they don't, they don't. Um, what I love. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, this is Untouched Nude. Cute. This is by Morphe. It's called Wifey. Ooh, ah. Okay, this is also really cute. Should I do the nudes first and then build up? Um, here go another one. I just want to make sure. Oh, this one's beat up, but it's also a nude. This one's called for Evs. Let me see which nude is better. Well, this is giving like pink taupe. And this is giving taupe. Is taupe a correct way to put it? And then the new one is giving more brown. My lips are trapped. But you see, like, come on now. I should have grabbed a more nude liner so I can but this way it gives it some dimension you know I'm trying to get to the edges okay this is eating this is tearing it up this is probably what I'm wearing for the whole day Yeah. Mm hmm Yes. Eat it up. Okay, I have this Chipotle napkin. Sorry. Dramatic. Uh, I'm just gonna wipe that off. Now I want some Chipotle. Oh, here go another Sephora one. Oh, this is also pink, though. This is also pink. This is a, a very strong pink. I might try this one, too. Should I try these? These are not even lipsticks, for real. I don't even... I mean, they don't look cute. I'll do it. Oh, there's nothing even in here, girl. This one does, though. This one has some. But this is like a... I don't know if I want to try one. I might for the video, but... I don't want to. We'll see. We'll see. We'll do pink right now. Oh. I don't know what this pink. Um. Okay, now I remember this pink being very dry. And since my lips are dry. This is not a good combination. And the lip cover is hideous. <laughs> like. This is giving 2016. 
That's probably how old this is. Because I used to be obsessed with pink. I have another one. I'm going to just put it on top of this one. This pink used to be my favorite pink. Looks like I blended it with a different color. So let me. And this one's creamy. I used to love this. This. Uh. This thing. I mean, hey, if you like pink lipstick, it still goes. Yeah, know. But, jeez. Yeah, this is giving 2016, babe. I need to take this off immediately. <gasps> I found a red. What the fuck? I don't know where or when I bought this red. It's brand new. I probably like swatched it because this touched. But it's brand new. This is called Passion Red by Sephora. Shout out Sephora. This hat. I feel like this was a gift. I haven't bought a red lipstick in a long time. That's why I'm like, I know I don't have a red. But I'm just going through all my lipsticks. But this red, y'all. I'm excited for the red. I, re I, I almost went to Ulta and got a red. But then I saw these. And I was like, you know what? If I go to Ulta, it's going to become, I'm not going to get just the lipstick because there's a couple things I need and the lipstick's not a need. So I'm like, I know if I go for the lipstick, I'm going to get the stuff that I need. I need some skincare stuff. But not, this is why I don't want to talk during the video because I talk too much. But okay, boom, I'm excited for the lipstick. Is that all right, Okay, okay. Okay, girl, calm down. So I'm scared it's going to be dry like the pink one, but I don't know if the other one is just because it's old. This is when it seems like it's brand new. Mm-hmm. This is so cute. I um Okay. Definitely messed up right there. Um, what's I gonna say? I don't know. But let me see, hold on. Since it's brand new, it's kind of crisp and it helps you get all the way to the bottom. Of your lip. Since I don't have the correct. Lip liner for it. Ma'am tearing it up okay this is definitely giving holidays it's a little dry but i kind of expected it because you know but this is giving mm-hmm Mm hmm tell me I hate when this part right here is like a different color tell me if you love somebody oh my god I love red lipstick this is like um dark red i would like more of a cherry red even though this is called cherry red ain't it oh no this is called passion red mm, i'm digging it but um to go outside like let's say i was going to dinner or something i'm probably not wearing this lip like i don't know what it is and then but back in the day i used to be able to do so like pinks reds strong lip bold lips or however you want to say it but today i don't know like this is so cute right here though but I don't know strong lips just I don't know not strong lips, bold lips you know you know what I'm trying to say they they're att attention grabbers for sure and I grab enough attention I'm just kidding but not kidding but like kidding but like not kidding anyways nonetheless this is so cute 
I hope you all really, 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 really like this. Um, I know I did a voiceover for most of the stuff, but I just, this was like more like therapy. I just wanted to just sit down and do my makeup and like even the camera dying and stuff or turning off. Um, it wasn't really bothering me because I just wanted to sit down and do my makeup regardless on if I recorded or not. So I was like, I'm gonna just get a video out of it just because I did kind of want to do this with my eyes and then I kind of was like oh i should do different lips with it um so i was like it would be a cute video if it executes but if it didn't i still wanted to sit down and do my makeup anyways so here we are to the end so i'm just glad we all made it and if you watch to the end you should comment something for me but actually do it because nobody ever comments Comment the word. Just comment red, okay? Because that's the only thing that comes to my mind, red. I just love it. Okay, ah, stop. Okay, dramatic. Anyways. Alright, I hope you all enjoyed watching me do all of this. I really, 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 really like this look. Um... And yeah, I see you when I see you. Um, I keep saying I'm going to post more. Um, but the last time I also said that. And the camera had literally dust on it from me not grabbing it. So, no promises. But I promise I'll never stop recording. So, eventually, you will see a video by me. But subscribe so you know that I did post. And you don't have to wait till I tell you. You already know. You'll be like, I already watched it. Yeah. Mm-hmm um but yeah anyways love you all have a good day oh i need a boyfriend so that i could kiss them and they'll have the the red mark on their cheek single life sucks gotta go